guys it's right so the sides are actually really easy for this i'm gonna be using this really small round cookie cutter these are its measurements i'm also going to be using some clay i'm using porcelain clay the kind of clay that hardens with air so you don't have to bake it but feel free to use polymer clay if you prefer so i'm just going to be rolling my clay using my roller with those two green rings on each side those are like levelers that, so that i can have the same thickness all throughout my clay and my eyes are pretty much like the same size I'm going to be cutting two circles with my round cookie cutter and then I'm going to be rolling those circles into like spheres and this is how I do it in between the palms of my hands. I'm going to be taking some clean pack like clean film. I'm pretty much going to be wrapping this around my cookie cutter until I have like this flat surface and just to make sure it stays in place because I want this as tight as possible I'm gonna be wrapping a hair tie like three times and I'm gonna be pretty much at like squashing or just smashing my clay sphere like this obviously using the side that has like my clean bag in it and I think it's cool because you can see how it's happening right in front of you and I'm gonna let this dry if you have polymer clay this when you bake it I'm going to be painting them to make the eyes, obviously this is just the shape and just because I'm going to be painting this I don't want this to move around so I'm just going to be using some double sided tape to just secure this. Using my white acrylic paint, my brush, I gave this like four coats lining and drawing between coats. Then when it's ready and dry I'm going to be taking this sharpie like the back of like standard sharpie, some black paint, adding a dot in the middle. Then I'm going to be using this other tool. I do have the DIY for this one. It's actually really easy to make. And I'm pretty much going to be adding a tiny dot on top. Now this is what it looks like without the detail of like the white dot in there. And with it. I think the tiny dot kind of like adds some like a depth to it. But pretty much depends on your needs. I just want to show you both options. And this is like the shape of them. Like a dome shape. Like a 2D depth to the eye then i'm going to be adding some gloss i'm using the one by sculpey giving this two or three coats and this is what it looks like i personally went with the one that has the detail of the white dot on it that's because i like it better but yeah this is what it looks like with a shine and yeah i just want to share with you this one just in case you needed an eye for any kind of figurine and christmas figurines if you want something other than those cheap plastic ones where the like black bit moves i'll be making a rudolph out of this so check out my next diy if you want to see this in action if this was helpful and handy don't forget to give this a thumbs up check out more easy diys i have and share this thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye